told you we was giving you the okay, okay back today to make a way. He gonna uh, try to date no it did. I'm gonna say it really did change that the like as far as musically, because the whole time I left, I was thinking about my children, because the way I left them, like my son was one month, my youngest son. That's tough. So it was like shit. I gotta the music gonna be there. Like I said, I never really took music serious, so I wasn't really focusing on that. Like, and I don't sit and write. Like I ain't gonna lie and say I never wrote no songs because prison was born and when I was locked up during COVID, so we was on twenty three hour lockdown to ourselves. So yeah. we wasn't going to the chow halls and I, we was getting fed in ourselves. So I'm in there stuck. You feel me? So I had to find something to do. I would write songs, but none of the songs I wrote in prison, I recorded. I don't even have them. You feel me? When I left, I left all that shit there. Like fuck, fuck this shit. Leave. I don't want to take nothing from this motherfucker. I mean, like, I left everything there. But as far as it didn't change nothing I say musically. I mean, I still came out. I feel like my flow changed some. Definitely you feel me? Yeah. Then it was a life experience, so it gave me more to rap about. You feel me? More pain I've been through, you know, more struggle. So it gave me, you know, it was shit that I could rap about. So I would say I gained from it. You know, I didn't lose from our game, but as far as music, it didn't really, you know, I say it affected me more as a person, as a father, you mm -hmm. know, the, the way I left, you know. For sure. Um, Normally, I don't even ask too many questions about prison or anything. I don't want to get into nothing specific like that, but I'm real curious about COVID in jail and just kind of like, because we didn't know what was going on out here. So I can only imagine like what they were telling y'all. I just kind of want you to explain like how that, like when it kicked off, like what, what was the, the feeling like inside? Like what, what were people saying? What, what did they tell y'all? I'm going to be honest. Inside, I felt like, they was lying to us. Like, we was watching the news and stuff, but I feel like it was getting boosted. I feel like they boosted it because the way they was treated us. I'm like, damn, we already in prison. Mm -hmm. And I was in a high medium. So that means we chained inside of a unit, locked inside of a, chained inside of a unit, locked inside of our little dorms, and then our cell. So, you know, we, we chained inside of a chain inside of a chain. Yeah. Then they locked us to our cell when COVID came. So it's like, ain't no, you gotta think, there ain't no calling home. Like I sat on the phone all day. I was on the wall phone all day. Mm -hmm. That's why I made a song called Wall Phones, cause I was literally running. That I'm paying hella money bands on my wall phone. Like niggas don't use the wall phones in there. You feel me? Like, cause they be taxing. But I'm sitting on the wall phones just to talk to my kids. You know, I gotta talk to. I, I'm, I'm basically raising them through a phone. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm talking to AJ. You know, Aaron couldn't really talk. AJ was young, but it was like. I feel like they was lying because like they took all our privileges. Like we don't got no phone. We we can't shower like we used to. Like we getting out. We might get out once a week to shower. You feel me? Or yeah. every other. Like they would say every other day, but they wasn't giving us every other day. Yeah. That's what they was telling us. Like we gonna let y'all shower every other day. Get out for an hour. Let y'all get a phone call and get in the shower. Eat cell. Get an hour. It wasn't every other day. It'd be when they felt like it. And I'm yeah. like, damn, y'all. We already in jail. We already locked up. We can't leave this motherfucker. Then they, we in our cell, so like we can't do nothing. We can't, we can't go to the school. I was in school with it. You know, we couldn't go to school. We, we eat. They bringing our trays. You getting your lunch and your dinner at the same time. You gotta save it. You gotta save it. Yeah. And sit in your cell because they not coming back. That's crazy. That shit. About time dinner comes, that shit call. You better eat it all at once. Or shit, I wasn't eating it really. But just the fact that like, the shit was like, I, I feel like it was a boost. Till I got out, yeah. Then I seen like how real it was. Mm -hmm. But in there, I feel like, damn, what can we do? Yeah. How can we? We not in the free world to go get nobody sick. Oh, yeah. We can't. We all in here. But like they were saying, I kind of, I understood once you know, I got out. Like I said, I, once I seen how serious it was, because all it take is say one inmate get it. Yeah, everybody got it. They y'all stuck in here, so y'all all finna get this shit. So I kind of understood why they did lock us down like that. Yeah, but it, when I was inside, I'm sure at the time it didn't help. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, fuck, we already in prison, we already in jail. What, 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 what's the worst that could happen? For sure. Then I'm like, COVID, nigga, this ain't shit, man. They boosting it. That's how I feel like they boosting it. Ain't nobody. For sure. Um, so then, once you got out, um, do you feel like? I mean, I know you say you haven't really ever taken rap serious, but do you feel like you kind of? kind of put your foot on the gas a little bit more like it seems like you've been putting out more music in the last year than you have previously at least 
Yeah, I feel like I turned it up, so...